integrate tangent to the fifth power times the secant to the third power solution. So whenever you have powers of secant and tangent, there's a really good strategy that usually works. Um, if you have uh, an odd power of tangent, you can save a copy of secant tangent. And if you have an even power of secant, you can save a copy of secant squared. So even secant, save a secant squared. Odd tangent, save a secant tangent. In this case, um, the power of secant is odd, so this doesn't work. But we have an odd tangent, so we can try to save a copy of secant tangent. So let's do that. So if we're saving one of the tangents, that leaves us with tangent to the fourth power. And if we're saving a secant, um, that leaves us with secant squared x. And we're saving a secant tangent. So we have secant x, tangent x, dx. So let's check that. So we pulled out a secant and we pulled out a tangent. So um, secant times secant squared is secant cubed. No problem. Tangent times tangent to the fourth is tangent to the fifth. Good stuff. So we saved a secant tangent. So that means that our u is going to be secant x. And the reason is because du is then secant x tangent x dx. Okay, so that means our u is secant. So we have to turn all of our tangents into secants. So there is an identity that relates secant squared to tangent squared. 1 plus tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x. So we need to solve this for tangent squared. So we'll subtract 1 from both sides. That gives us tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus 1. So we can replace the tangent to the fourth uh, with tangent squared squared. So this is going to be parentheses secant squared x minus 1 squared secant squared x. And then here we have the secant x and the tangent x dx. All right, good stuff. Now we can make our substitution. So we said u was secant x. This is going to be parentheses u squared minus 1 squared u squared, right, because u is secant. And then all of this is just our du. There's a formula that allows us to multiply this out. If you have a minus b squared, you square the first one, you put a minus sign, you multiply the a and the b, and you multiply by 2, and then you square the b. So in this case, it'll be you square the u squared, so u to the fourth, minus 2u squared plus 1, using the formula. And this here is u squared du. All right. Now we just have to distribute the u squared. Distributing the u squared, we get u squared times u to the fourth, which is u to the sixth. u squared times this is minus 2u to the fourth. And then u squared times 1 is plus u squared. And all of this is in parentheses. And we have our du. And now we just integrate term by term, each piece. So we use the power rule here to integrate. So it'll be u to the 7 over 7 minus 2u to the 5 over 5, right? You just add 1 and divide. So 4 plus 1 is 5, and you divide plus, and then 2 plus 1 is 3, so u cubed over 3 plus our constant of integration c. The last thing to do is replace u with what it actually is. So u is the secant function. So it's secant to the 7th power of x over 7 minus uh, two-fifths, I'll write it like this, secant to the fifth power of x plus secant to the third power of x over 3 plus our constant of integration c. And that is the final answer. So I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. That's it.